here is Backwoods Billy from Delmarva Eastern Shore, and today I'm here with Leslie from Vino 301. Yes. What's how you doing? We did a long drive down here, and Leslie has a wine tour. Exactly. And mm -hmm. you drive us in a nice Mercedes-Benz Comfort van yep. come down mm -hmm. here and mm -hmm. tell us about what's going on. And tell us about what, how long we've been doing this and okay. what else do you have? We do the wine tours of the yeah. different regions, right? Yeah. So we have been around since 2013. Okay. We started off just doing a couple tours, what we like to call the Potasco region, which is Baltimore County, and um, Southern Maryland, which is Calvert, Prince George's, and St. Mary's County. Okay. And now we do practically the entire state. We go as far west as Hagerstown. Okay. Um, so that's our what we call our Westminster region, and this area is just rich with a whole lot of vineyards. You have Big Cork up in um, close to Hagerstown, that Black Ankle, Leonore, um, that Mount Airy region that has a lot of new vineyards. And then um, we also, again, still do Southern Maryland, and so there are new vineyards in Prince George's County as well as the Calvert County. So some of our old favorites like um, Running Hare in Prince Frederick and uh, Friday's Creek. And now we also go to Romano and um, Robin Farm, Robin Hill Farm in Prince George's County. And then we also do the Annapolis area. You can't forget about uh, Great Farms in Annapolis and right outside of Annapolis is Thanksgiving Farm. So we're all over the place. And now in Africa, we used to live there. I moved down Eastern Shore. So we actually uh, met Leslie at the Chester, right, right on uh, Pine Arrows Road, right. which is called the Chestertown Visitor uh -huh. Center. Yeah, the Chesapeake Heritage Museum. Okay, Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we all got into the van. So the good thing is, for everybody coming down here, when you do this, you're not getting lost. You don't have to worry about your gas. And somebody's driving. Right. So you're good to go. And your tasting fees are included. So all you have to do is show up with a Thirsty Valley, and that's it. And you guys provide little snacks and water, mm -hmm. and give us a uh, little bag. It's got, like, carrier wine and wine glasses, and then it's kind of cold. And then we're here at the um, Broken Spoke Winery. Yes, yeah. yeah. And this mm -hmm. is the first stop out of three today, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're on the upper shore, of um, the eastern shore, and very close to, if anybody knows, Chestertown, um, Chesapeake City. We're at Broken Spoke, um, and then we'll be going to Chateau Boudet, which is 10 minutes down the road. So you might take a long ride to get here, but once you get in this area, they're 10 to 20 minutes apart. And then finally, we'll finish up with Pro Farm um, and Vineyard. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to get ready to do tasting. Thanks, Leslie. And also, if somebody wants to do like a corporate event or like a corporate retreat, Mm -hmm. Or a retirement party, or uh, let's say like a bachelorette party, or bachelor. This is something that can be, you guys can do, right? We most definitely. Um, most of our business are private tours, so you just contact us. Um, you can go to our website at vino 301com um, We just require a minimum of eight people, so that's not a lot. Um, and we can do a maximum of thirty-five. Obviously, we don't put thirty-five people in the yeah. van that we have there, but we have a single vehicle that can accommodate up to that number of people. Um, and we do tours Wednesday through Sunday. Awesome. So you guys, yeah, anybody coming to Nature Shores is really a, um, a great opportunity if you're in Baltimore, Annapolis, it's a really great opportunity. To, uh, she's going to show you wineries you may not know that existed and definitely you might get lost going to. So it's a good idea. Um, and I'll put the link in the description box, put it down below, and we'll put it in writing as well. We'll do what the thing is if you can't remember it. Uh, have a great day, guys. We're here at the Broken Spoke Winery, and um, there's different flights you can do. This is the classic flight, and the other flight is the summertime flight, which I chose. And basically, you're, you've got the four different wines that we have. Yes. Our white, two white wines, the rosé and the red. So we're going to start off with our white wine right here. It's a fruit forward Sauvignon Blanc. Citrus. Spicy. It's really sweet. You get citrus. 
throughout the whole day, just with the floral notes to it. It's very nice. It's the color of this we're looking at. It's not always clear. It's like a very pale straw color. Next wine is going to be a Riesling, which is to me the most underappreciated white wine. I like the cute little horseshoe uh, flake. Yeah, it Gordon. tells you different things about the Riesling. It tells you the taste of the Acidic, still sweet. It should be a nice wine to pair with seafood. It's an acidity, makes your mouth water. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, so it actually works really well with the spice. So we're looking at this as being a pale straw as well. This is slightly darker. And this one's going to be the rose wine right here. with this. But this time we'll do the classic flight, the first flight in the summertime flight. Chardonnay. Get an apple. Nice acidity bite to it. Some apple, a little bit of citrus next to it. And it has a little bit of uh, earthing in the back end. Nice long finish to it. This is the other white wine. Again, with this, I'm getting more earthy and earthy. 
and some spice. I get like a lot of like actually the chili pepper in this. Oh, I get like chili pepper neck with this. Mm -hmm. A little bit of plum and a lot of like curry and herbal. Good acidity, it's got a little bit of tannin there to this. Um, I think it was a little bit better balanced red than the summertime red. A little bit heavier body to it and has a longer finish. Obviously, slightly drier. I think this is something you could pair a steak with, no problem at all. Or a hard a little heavier body to it. Um, the back is really too white or low. A little bit of blush color to it. it smells very nice and pretty. But floral. Nice acidity to this, pair very well with um, a lot of food, I think. Um, turkey dinner, Thanksgiving time, anything you guys want to do, like a chicken, you get very well with this duck. Got a lot of cool depth to it, though. Typical thing I would with the Merlot. Well, I'm, I'm getting actually like a strawberry nut with this and a very, very faint plum there. More strawberry, more fruity, and very light floral, but the actual, um, I guess you little bite inside of your mouth for the acidity. Back is fully two thumbs up.